Well, um, Little Grouse is a children's country clothing brand that started back in 2018. Um, so we're just over our two year birthday. Um, we started with one product, we now have a few. <laughs> um, yeah, it set out as I was expecting my little girl back in 2017. Um wanted to find that matchy matchy product with my own country wardrobe. Couldn't find it on the market anywhere. Um decided I wasn't really keen on going back to work in an office once I'd had a little one. So I thought if you can't find it, make it. Um so I did. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I did have them kind of laid out here, but my screen's actually a little bit smaller than I was hoping for it to be. Yeah, that um, caused um it hates me i'm going to press a button and we're going to see if it looks if it'll widen the view it could go wrong oh oh gosh oh let's That's try good. this let's give this a spin right and you still can't see my messy office to the rest of the room it's great <laughs> I can the light and that makes me happy so oh, yes. which product did you launch with um it was the angus gilet but in a single color um, I literally went for the most popular colour that I could think of, which the likes of like Shuffle um, and Alan Payne already had an existing line in, in this country gilets, um, which is this one here. Um, following that, uh, that erupted because it was the only one on the market at the time, it went crazy. Um, I decided to add three other colours to the range. Um, so it's the forest green, the olive, and the burgundy. And um, we've now scaled that back down to just an extra two. Um, because if you start having too many colors and with one product, you end up with a huge inventory. And yeah, uh, so we cut that one, cut that one out this year. Um, so yes, we started with one product. We now have a few, I'm not sure how many we have now. <laughs> but we <laughs> so but can you share so cute oh sorry as so can you show us one of your gilets because they are beautiful and they're coming back into stock uh you've got the different colors because they every time they come in they fly out don't they so it's um yeah. you're getting a big restock for christmas we are um i have navy arriving tomorrow um touch wood touch lots of wood um so that will be our huge hit because everyone's waiting for navy navy goes with everything um the following week so next week we'll be receiving the lovely burgundy which i have here and so lovely uh, it is um and it has that contrast trim as well i'm not sure you can see it all too well um, it's like a tan, it has a, like a, a tan is it a, a, a faux suede do you say it is, yes, it's like a mixture between a faux suede and a moleskin for that hard wearing effect. So it's going to last um, and wash really well. Um, and these little gilets are fully lined as well for keeping little ones warm um, in those chillier periods as well. So cute. And you do those from like tiny, tiny sizes, don't you? Yeah, so literally, not quite literally newborn um because well i suppose we could but that'd probably be a little bit too small <laughs> um but we start from three months and um, so we've got three to six months and then go right up to five to six years um, brilliant and so you've got all that i know you said your little girl has absolutely worn hers to death hasn't she she just wears and wears and wears and it's still you chuck it in the machine and it still comes out looking really good Yes, so much so that her brother is now wearing her old fleeces and gilets. Um, so that shows they last. <laughs> she used and abused hers in the garden with the pony, out and about, everywhere, shopping. Literally, she wore hers all the time. Um, and now little Hep is wearing it. Um, so I'm sure, yeah, we're going to have to try and find a navy one for this time around. So I'm not sure he's going to rock burgundy for his next size up. So. <laughs> Let's just hope they don't they don't fly out the door again because he's not gonna he's gonna be the one like the you know the, the hairdresser's kid or the I can't think of the phrase but the one who's you know they, they're to look after everybody else but it's like no you can have the burgundy which is I, mean, I love the burgundy 
And how much are these? Because I think they're amazingly good value because they're made in the UK as well. So they are supporting so much that a lot of people are really holding dear to the moment. So how much are these gilets? So the smallest ones start from £36 um, and then the largest ones go up to £45. Um, so it's, it's price less for the little ones because obviously they're going to be in them uh, for a, a lot less time and because they grow so quick. And as you're starting to get towards two to three onwards, um, the growth rate of children tends to slow down. So you get far more wear for your money. And the great thing about the gilets is you can wear them all year round. Um, mm -hmm. With the great British weather, we're not always blessed with amazing sunshine, are we? So <laughs> but they're it. great, especially, from yeah. <laughs> especially up here at the minute. Like the weather's so changeable. So. Um, Having one of these is perfect, whether it goes underneath the coat as an extra warm layer in winter or as a top layer just for that extra bit of warmth in summer. So what other products are you going to talk us through today? Because you've got a, um, I know you've got a fleece version of the Gine, which is obviously yeah. just called a fleece with arms. Um, and you've obviously got the things, the, the things, the products on the little mannequin I can see in the distance. Yes, unfortunately the skirt isn't ours yet. There are skirts coming, but they won't be until next year. Um, I've used Matilda's skirt just to dress up the mannequin today. <laughs> but we have our little tiny uh, Phoenix shirts, um, both in short sleeved and long sleeved. We are actually discontinuing the short sleeve, so if anybody wants a bargain, head over to our clearance page. They're all on there. <laughs> oh, fab. Um, so they are super. Um, I have a long sleeve one here. Um, they are basically the tassel shirt that we all love and have, has gone through, I don't know how many generations of people loving them. Um, sorry, I'm all back to front. No, it's not you, yeah. it's dream yard. It's just, <laughs> it likes to do it. It's all on our toes. It does. I've been watching them all week and yeah, I think everyone's had the same problem. <laughs> Um, but they are gorgeous. They're made from this super soft brushed cotton. Um, they're really easy. To, I haven't actually ironed Matilda's, I think, at all. Um, I just wash it and hang it. And then it's like an iron free shirt, which is an absolute bonus in my book for kids. So. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, I, I go a long way to make sure I don't have to iron the kids' school uniform. I, I, the second the washing machine stops, I go and shake it and hang it out. And <laughs> I, I, I just don't enjoy ironing tiny, tiny things, I'll be honest. No, it's bad enough doing the big stuff. Um, but no, these are great. They've got our little logo engraved buttons, which, again, my camera's not good enough to see. Um, but very subtle detailing. Um, it's got a nice yoke back to allow for movement in the in the shoulders here, so it just allows for that little bit of arm movement. Well, lots of arm movement. Um, and the button cuff as well, so you can, so you can roll, that, roll that up or roll that down. Um, so all the features of a large, uh, like a, an adult's version shirt um, for tiny people. <laughs> and are they available on the website now? Because again, I know that they, they are very, really popular as well, aren't they? They are. Uh, we have some sizes available in these, in the long sleeve. Um, we have all sizes available in the short sleeve. Uh, we do have a new restock coming 23rd, a week commencing 23rd of December. No, November. November, so that makes time November. away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, they are coming. So if your size isn't there, um, it will be back in stock soon. Um, I very eagerly awaited restock and we have we've been waiting a long time for this one. <laughs> can people sign up if they go and they look for a product and it's currently out of stock, can they sign up to get a, a reminder when it's in? Do you have that available on your site? Yes, yeah. So if you just head over to our website and head over to the product page, see your size isn't there, it has the option just below for you to sign up with an email address. Um, that way, as soon as they do come back in stock, you will be notified that very second. Um, I know we have a lot of people waiting for everything. <laughs> but yes, yeah, a great way just so you don't miss out. Yes. Definitely. Um, Sarah says, just looked at your website. Stunning clothes for little people. Shame mine are not so little anymore. But honestly, oh. it's, 
they're, they are beautiful, beautiful clothes. And um, someone else says, oh, I think my girls need one. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> There's one other thing I noticed on the shirt is another one of your amazing creations, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Um, the in fact I had one here before I start dismantling the shirt. Um, our little grouse, or wee grousey tie, as I call it, um, little tiny shooting ties for teeny tiny people. Um, so they're perfectly scaled down. And um, the feature our little. Where's my camera? A little grouse on there. So cute. Um, they are ridiculously cute. Um, I love them. Um, they are flying out because they're a great uh, stuffing filler. Um, not just for shooting, they're good for events as well. Um, whether it's birthday parties, we've had customers uh, send photos in saying they've used them in the show ring as well. So whether it's for horses or, or cattle or anything That's else you want to show, I suppose. Yeah, that's um, cool. I'm going to invite anyone, if you've got any questions to ask Victoria, please do put them in the comments. I can see all of the comments, so that's all good. I'm just not using my phone today in the hope that all of the internet juice will be flowing in the right direction um, <laughs> for so we can have the, the best possible stream. Um, so obviously, if there's any, oh gosh, Katie says, oh my God, this is actually making my ovaries hurt. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you weren't broody to start off with, I think many people will be. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. It's amazing. They're all lovely, lovely products. So what's your favourite product? At, or is this like choosing your favourite child? Oh, yes. Um, I don't want to say in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so daft, isn't it? Um, it has to be my original um my anchor Chile in the Navy because it is my first baby. It's the first product, the first um, clothing design that I actually designed myself. Um, because everything it starts from a sketch. Well, it starts from an idea in my head. Usually, when I'm in the shower or out with the horses or something ridiculous, um, and I sketch everything down and then set to try and create a pattern. Uh, then it goes to sampling, and then the whole way through. Um, the Angus Chile was a, a, a character building project because <laughs> it was my first um, and I'm, I'm quite attached to that one um, and yes it just goes with everything, it's perfect for girls, it's perfect for boys, um, yeah it's just the, the, the go-to, no. my first baby. It's so, they are really really lovely um, and do you have your all your Christmas cutoff dates. I, I saw a post on. I know, obviously, we're waiting for some of the your. Well, you're, you've got kind of restocks like each week or something, haven't you, at the moment? So don't mm. panic, people. Obviously, get that order in. And if you see a product that you would like and it isn't available, do sign up to those newsletter, um, those reminders when you come in because I, I have intel on how many people are waiting for these products, and you don't want to miss out. Because I think they're going to, I think Victoria's going to be very, very busy this weekend, um, and the next weekend, and the next weekend. So definitely make sure if you want to get your hands on one of these for Christmas. And what a great gift as well! You know, it ticks so many boxes. Supporting small business, UK made, which I know is a really big thing for so many people at the moment, and it's also yes. great gift that regardless of the situation we're in, can be used again and again. I know my kids are spending so much time outside at the moment um, because, you know, in the garden or attempting to help with the horses or walking. And, you know, it's, it's a gift that's it's perfect for this time of year. And it does, it, it's not kind of, we don't have to wait for the situation to change. It's something that can be enjoyed and loved now. Exactly, yeah. And everything's machine washable. So even if it goes out and gets absolutely plastered, um, stick it in the wash. Uh, we all know what kids are like, they'll go and get absolutely filthy, but that's what they're meant to do. They go out, meant to go out and play, especially when we're all in lockdown. Um, Definitely. The, I mean, even the with, the, with, the, um, with the gilets and with the fleeces, are they okay to machine wash as well? Because obviously you've got that trim on, haven't you? But are they still perfect to check in? Absolutely. It's why we went for that kind of moleskin, um, uh, faux suede, durable, super durable um, fabric. So yes, every part of it is just machine washable um, and comes out 
looking like it should. Um, obviously, fleece bobbles in time, but look after it properly and it'll last forever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I have to say, I've got, I have got a, um, a, sh a shuffle, shuffle, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, fleece gilet. And the first time I had to wash that, I was quite panicked because it, I don't know what that trim is. I think it might be leather. I don't know. And I kind of put it into the wash and I'm like, oh, well, I've enjoyed that for like a month. And actually <laughs> it was fine. I don't tumble dry it or anything. I just hang it on the light, hang it on the, it's got like a drying area, hang it up there. It just dries over a couple of days. Um, well, it's probably dry within a day, but you know, I leave it there a little bit. Um, and it's yeah. brilliant. I don't panic about washing it now, which is lovely. Cause you want, especially with kids' coat, you've got to be able to check it in the machine. Absolutely, yeah. You can't be precious with kids' clothes. It's just got to go in. Uh, Jane says, "Ah, these are making me broody." I know. I apologise. I think there's going to be a baby boom anyway because of the situation. But I feel like now you're responsible for further one, Victoria. So that's on you, not me. Um, <laughs> lo loving Christmas markets. Well prepared today, um, and joining with warmed mould, warm mould winter punch, alcohol free. Um, <gasps> I'd like to know about that, alcohol-free or with alcohol in. Um, <laughs> I'll have to do that about now. Can you tell us all the places where we can find you online? Absolutely. So you can find us on Instagram and uh, Facebook. We're Little Grouse UK um, or Little Grouse Country Clothing UK. Uh, you can find us on our website, which is where you can go and sign up for all those updates for as soon as stock's in stock. Um, at www.littlegrouse.co.uk um, and I think that's it for the moment. We will be moving on to Pinterest but we'll leave that for next year because I think this is going to be quite a busy period from now. <laughs> Definitely and if anyone's got any questions obviously they can just give you a DM card and, and ask those questions. Is Instagram quite a good place for that? Yes that'd be perfect yes. Brilliant. Thank you very very much for joining us today. I'll let you go and get mentally prepared for packing that awaits when, when there's November, November when those navy relays land and um Jane we are going to need that um mold winter punch without alcohol recipe because that would be great for these because I've still got to work after this as everybody else has <laughs> so, Pat, please do tell us all about you and your lovely business um okay so my horse box is a monthly subscription box full of equestrian goodies um, we have a few different options to suit different budgets, um, but basically the box comes with a couple of different products in each month. Um, our main box is four or five products and they're all selected. Um, we get different products in each month, making sure that they kind of fit the time of year, depending on what we think people need to use. Um, and we try not to kind of put the same products in all the time so that we're using different brands and um, basically just so people can try out different products without having to go to the shop and buy them, essentially. Um, and the good thing about them is as well that, oh, has my camera just gone really blurry? Oh, there we go. There's a soft focus um, going on there. <laughs> Um, and yeah, oh, I've lost some train of thought now. Um, so yeah, the boxes come with four or five different products um, and the value of the boxes is always more than what you pay for them. Um, so we aim for the standard box to be around about the 50 pound mark. So if you went to all the different retailers um, and bought the products from them direct, it would cost you at, at least 50 pounds. Um, but we only charge 35 with free postage. So you're getting a real bargain as well for the products oh, wow. that, you, that you get. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to show us today? Well, I have got an example box. So this is what could arrive through your door. Oh, get it right. Oh, it's there. backwards. It's all backwards. Oh, it's so hard, isn't it? It really um, gets going. Was this a recent box? Um, so this is just some of the products that we've featured in the past. So it's not an exact replica of a box. Um, but we do also send out mystery boxes as well, which we just kind of take a few different products from previous boxes and, and mix them up. So um, that's good if you just want to have, kind of try it out or just as a one off as a gift. Um, so we do have mystery boxes as well, which are £40 as a one off. Um, or if you want to obviously subscribe and get one every single month, the prices start at £35 a month. Okay. Um, so yeah, they come obviously really nice presented as well, and the nice boxes and things. And we can do gift boxes as, as well if if it's for a gift for somebody. Um, because these ones are postage boxes that we that I've just shown you here. 
Um, so that would you wouldn't get anything else apart from that. So we just stick the label on the front. But if if it's for a gift, we can put it in a um, an outer box as well, so that when it arrives at you know your friends, um, they can kind of open it and it's in a nice presentation box as well, which are really good and they're really handy as well. The other boxes for um, keeping things in when you're at the yard as well. We get quite a lot of feedback on those ones saying that they really enjoy taking them to the farm and they can put bits and pieces in them. They're quite good storage boxes too. That's I cool. actually use quite a few of them at. Um, <laughs> for my horse as well. <laughs> so the box you've got there, I know you said mm. it, what, it was kind of like a, a, a mixture of different things. Yeah. Um, so, but it, it's the value that's in the box that you've just shown us. Is mm. that, is it a good representation of what people like to get, likely to get through their letterboxes? Well, I did just throw this together a few minutes before. Um, mm. But yeah, roughly, um, uh, I'd have to actually sit down and work out the value of these ones but I just wanted to kind of show something um but yeah uh, when you have a subscription with us you get a contents card and it tells you how much each of the products are so you'll know how what the value of, the, of them are and what postage you would have paid to receive those products if you ordered them individually so it's a good representation that you can actually see how much um value you're getting really from the box um and we do also offer prepaid plans and um, so if you sign up for three and six months um, it's a bit cheaper than £35 as well, so you get a bit of a discount if you sign up for a bit longer. Oh, that's cool. Which so that's a really, a really lovely gift as well for somebody. If you want to do yeah. a one-off, but you could also do a, a three-month subscription or a six-month yeah. subscription. Yeah. So we've had quite a few people sign up this month because the first box will be delivered in December. Um, so it's a nice kind of gift for people. So they'll get their first box in December and then they'll get their second box in January and the third box in February. Um, and you can just pay up front for that at the moment as well. So um, it's, yeah, like you say, it's a nice gift to, to work it out that way. That's a really good idea. Mm. If anyone has, is watching and they've got any questions for Kat, sorry, this chair is becoming increasingly uncomfortable every day. <laughs> um, any questions for Kat about either the contents or how the subscription works or anything like that, please do put them in the comments and I will ask her for you. Um, so that's really cool and the gift boxes as well are they different values or are they all around the same value no we make sure they're the same value as well so they're, they're a bit more expensive obviously because you're not signing up for the subscription as i said they're 40 pound but they're still minimum <clears throat> um, value of 50 um, so we do make sure that they're still really good value for money um, and if you know if people really wanted to then we'd be happy to kind of um, if, if you know that your friend's into dressage, then we can maybe tailor the box a little bit towards that as well. So we can, we've got quite a lot of back stock that we can use from previous boxes to, to kind of make bespoke boxes really. Um, so that's one thing that we don't kind of make overly clear on the website. I need to update that. Um, but any requests for things like that, I'm more than happy to chat it through and, and kind of create a tailored box for somebody if, if, um, if that's what they want as well. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. Yes. Someone who's really into showing or dressage or whatever, you can yeah. think of things that are relevant. Mm. Um, so this is our standard box, which is four or five products. We also do a mini box as well, where you get a pair of socks and two products from the main box, um, which I think is £22 a month, if I'm right. Okay. Um, and then we also do an upgrade on the full size box as well, where you get the same products that would be in the main box plus a pair of socks, which is 40 one pound a month so there's a couple of different variations as well um and then we do our sock subscription which is also really good so these are not going to be in the subscription because they're christmas ones and we're doing different we're doing thicker socks for through winter but um we quite often um so these will be included in the box plus socks or you can just get so a pair of socks as well as a subscription on their own and again that's really good as a like a stocking filler or something you can um, just buy some of your sock subscription and that starts at nine pound a month or you can buy individual pairs of socks on our website for ten pound so these will be going up soon obviously very christmas themed yeah, closer to the camera for us okay. we've got so, santa. They, so they've got santa and rudolph they get it the right way around and then on the other sock there's like little presents oh that's cool so these are going to be going up for sale on our website soon and they're ten pound a pair um so yeah they, they're great as a little stocking filler really um so hopefully They'll do well. We had some um, Halloween socks, which went um, down a treat. So they had pumpkins and, and things on. People really enjoyed those. Um, so, yeah. And uh, Nikki says, can you pick colour themes? Um, no, we don't have colour themes. Um, because the products we include are more kind of like grooming products or that kind of thing. It's not very often we include things for rider or horse. 
um, we do have the we do take that information so we know what t-shirt size you are and what hall size you are so that we can add can, those kind of products in if, if that's what we're doing that month I think we had a t-shirt a few months ago um, but no we don't really we don't often include things um, that you would be able to pick a colour preference for really anyway um, so yeah although we did have some beanie hats last uh, month which um Catherine sorted out for us they were fantastic with our um little horse logo emblem um embroidered on the front um so yeah and they were different colored actually so it might not be a bad idea for us to to have that option on there so that if we do anything that is colored yeah I'd not really thought about that before but yeah we might I might um, integrate that in well done Nikki you helped you yeah. definitely helped <laughs> we are a bit based on our website at the moment so it's something that I could bring in on that so at least we've got that information if we ever do need it yeah yeah that's the thing isn't it because if you if you're a, you know, a diehard blue fan and you get a color like you get a, a bright pink hat or something and actually yeah you, you'd be thrilled if it was blue but you and also vice versa it's um it's just a way to make it even even more lovely I guess isn't it and even yeah. feeling more special no that's a really good idea yeah so the subscription, does that come just in a, in a lovely box as well, just through the letter box each month? So um, we've got just cardboard envelopes or um, paper um, bags that we mail them in, but we do kind of fold them in tissue paper and put a little tag and some string around them as well. So they look really nice when they arrive through the door and it's quite nice to open them. So, yeah. No, that is cool. Yeah, we're hoping that at some point we can start doing our own designs. Um, so, yeah, I've got loads of ideas in mind. So I'm just hoping that we can get to that point at some some stage that we can yeah, start making our own designs and things. Because at the moment we're just buying them in. But, you know, it's working at the moment. And the designs that we've kind of sent out over the past few months have been really great. And we've had lots of really good feedback on them. And people seem to really enjoy the odd socks as well and um, having the, the different different design yeah i noticed that with the santa socks you've yeah. got the one with the presents and the one with the yeah. santa and reindeers and reindeers yeah and you've always got the option if actually you want to wear the same pair you can just buy two and then you've got two different designs to to match up so yeah um and so Nikki, over the winter it's going to be we're, we're going slightly different to the novelty socks that we've been showing over the past couple of months um, and we've got some really nice thick socks which is so warm in the winter and really keep your feet warm so those are the ones that we're going out over the next few months for the subscription wow. um, hopefully people will like those <laughs> uh, Nikki says how do you pick the products to go in um just finding brands on the internet really we try and use smaller brands rather than the big brands um just to support small businesses um, and also sometimes it's a little bit easier because they have lower um, minimum quantity orders as well so if we you know can't order you know if the minimum quantity is 300 then obviously that's not something we're going to be able to do um, but obviously supporting small businesses is great as well um, so yeah just just research we find new brands on Instagram and um, we work with some brands um, you know throughout the year as well and kind of feature different products that they have which is always good um and yeah so we just kind of see what time of year it is what kind of products i think i would be using on my horse at this time of year what i might want to kind of see in the box and then go from there really and and start kind of asking questions and seeing who's got what and and what we can get into the box so yeah it's quite fun actually because there's so many products out there and brands that i would never have known about if i hadn't uh been needing to do the research for the box so yeah it's good do you quite enjoy the kind of, um, I imagine when it comes to that time of the month when you have to pack everything up, it's quite a big undertaking, but is it rather lovely kind of getting everything put together to see how it looks before you post it off to its new home? It is, yeah. I do like putting the boxes together and making sure that all the products look really nice in the box. So when you open it up, you can see them all and you can see what you've got. Um, you know, when we kind of like wrap it in a tissue paper and things and um, we're actually doing the packing for our November boxes tomorrow. So uh, my mum's coming over to help. So she helps us do the packing. Um, so, yeah, we'll kind of sit down and get all the boxes ready and then kind of have a, you know, play at putting the products in and looking, seeing which way looks best to, to display the products in the box. And, yeah, making sure they're all packed up nicely and well presented. So it's, it's yeah, it's quite a fun day, actually. It's not not something that I, I dread doing. <laughs> it and do you have a new product that's launching kind of so yeah, we do have some rider wear as well yes um so i don't have many things to show just because um we're in pre-order stage at the moment so i've only got a few samples so this is one of the t-shirts and it just gives you an idea on the graphic so if you can see that oh wrong way again. Oh, there, there we go 
Excellent. So we've got a show jumping horse, a dressage plan, and yeah. a, an event. An event yeah. so it's all the three of the, the events, obviously. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was like a little fun kind of graphic um, that would be fun on a t-shirt. And we've got, so we've got polo shirts, t-shirts, and hoodies as well. This is one of the hoodies. It's pointing the wrong side um this was our original des uh, design so i haven't actually got any of the new ones yet so it, it will say my horse rocks but it will be the correct spelling of rocks not rox so we kind of change that a little bit um but i absolutely love this color the hoodie is so warm and yeah the color's just really nice so this one's available as well um so they're all available for pre-order at the moment on our website and there is a 15 percent discount on those at the moment if you use code rocks 15 as in r-o-c-k-s Yes, yeah. So it's not going to be ROX. That's what we originally thought we were going to go with, but we decided to change that. Um, so yeah, if um, pre-order is ending with that discount this weekend, you've got until Sunday evening to get those orders in. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be placing the order and posting everything out um, before the end of the month. So they've got quite a quick turnaround with the, with the stock. Um, so yeah, hopefully people will like those as well. And again, they're a good gift if you want to get a hoodie. So I think the hoodies are £29. Uh, the polo shirts are 26 And I think the t-shirts are 20 I should have had it written down. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but then obviously you get the 15% off as well. So, um, and everything's free postage to, to, in the UK. Amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about today before I let you crack on with the rest of your day? I don't think so. I think I've covered everything. Yeah. I mean, there's really something for anyone that's horsey. There's a really good range of products and uh, price points yeah. as well. Exactly. Yeah. Lots of different price points, which are good. It, and we have stuff that you can sign up to as a subscription and stuff that you can buy as a one off as well. So it's not all about subscriptions. Um, so, yeah, and that's all, all on our website. So I'll get those Christmas socks up later as well. So hopefully um, they'll be available for people to buy. And yeah, hopefully. I think people are like them just because they're really fun and they're great for on Christmas Day if you're going down to the farm or, you know, going on a Christmas ride with your friends. Definitely. <laughs> and have you got your last order dates? Do you know what they are yet? So for the subscription boxes and the subscription socks, it's um, the 31st of November. Um, and then for anything that's a one-off. Hang on, I think there's only 30 days in November. Oh, is it? <laughs> 30 <laughs> of November. <laughs> I am like not the person for I this. Um, I'm going to call baby brain on that one. <laughs> but there are. Th I thought isn't isn't the right? Yeah, it's 30 days in November. So go for that. Yeah, date. 30th of November. Thank you. The 30th of November. Anything that's a subscription, and that's mm -hmm. to make sure that you get your subscription delivered before Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then for any of the one-off products, I think um, it's the second week of December. I'm going to put it up on my Instagram in the next few days. What all the cutoffs are for the the one-offs. Um, but because they're a much quicker turnaround with postage and that kind of thing, so we've got a lot more time on that. But we have to place our order for all of our stock for the subscription boxes um, at the beginning of December to make sure that they we can get them out before Christmas. So, yeah, that one's a little bit earlier. OK, and you haven't told us all the places we can find you online. Yet, um, you? Yeah, so um, Facebook and Instagram, we're at My Horse Box UK. Um, and then our website is myhorsebox.com. So you can contact us on either of those. Brilliant. If anyone's got any questions, you know, they can they can obviously send you a DM. Would Instagram be the best place for that or Facebook? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. We check them all anyway. And there's an email address on our website if that's what, what, the way you want to go. But yeah, we'll be keep up to date with all of them. So not a problem. So, Hello. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell me all about, tell us all, all about you and your lovely business. Okay, so I am one half of Horseshoe Hearts. Um, we mainly create things from used horseshoes. We started off um, making from our own stock of used horseshoes because Barry is a farrier and we have a lot of these laying about the place, rusty old horseshoes. And so we started off um, with the idea of making things from those. Um, it's kind of expanded somewhat and we do an awful lot of work from other people's shoes now as well probably maybe like half or so I think is other people's shoes now it's an awful lot um, so but I mean originally he was a farrier I was an artist and to him the horseshoes are just they get in the way um, to me because I was just didn't have 
wasn't around ponies really as a child had my weekly riding lesson and that was it so so pony mad when I saw all these horseshoes and just all the possibilities that were you know sitting about in all these rusty old horseshoes so that's kind of how we got started um and then yeah here we are making all sorts um the namesake is the single horseshoe heart that we came up with there and that's forged from one whole horseshoe so that rusty horseshoe that oh god this camera is terrible <laughs> here we go. It's, it's, I think everything's backwards <laughs> it's <really> confusing <laughs> so um yeah the horseshoe i just showed you there um it would make something like this we use one whole horseshoe for one whole horseshoe heart um that's something i was really passionate about is that i wanted it to stay whole i didn't want to cut any bits off or cut it in half or take anything away um so it's all from one horseshoe there we can put we can put visualization on so oh there we go that actually says if i could get this right with the camera this one says diligence is the mother of good luck across the top of it there but we can put whatever you like we do a lot of just names and dates and things like that over the top of them so that's what we got started off with um and it kind of expanded into all sorts if you want your not everybody loves the heart so if you wanted your horseshoe to stay as it is we offer the option of just cleaning the horseshoe up so the rusty horseshoe that you saw just before we heat everything um in the forge first of all and that burns the rust off so no matter how rusty your shoe is or even if perhaps i mean we can't work with plated shoes okay um but if your shoe perhaps has been painted or anything, then that's fine. We can still work with painted shoes because it just all burns away in the forge. So we heat them first to clean them. Um, we don't media blast or anything like that. We clean each one by hand. So um, each of the ooh, <laughs> each of the nail holes that's been cleaned out there, that's cleaned out by either myself or bury all the dirt come out and the dirt brushed out. Oh my gosh. Um, from in there um, your stages are so obviously you can start with a rusty shoe like that with your nails still in it's actually amazing isn't it because that shoe if you saw that in a field you'd be like oh well, that's just for the bin like you would you kind of just go oh it's been out for too long but the fact that you yeah, can transform yeah. that into what you we, can yeah we've worked with um, some shoes people have dug up out of their gardens and things like that or they found them in fields and stuff and that's fine we can work with anything like that um often the more sort of the more a shoe is aged perhaps or has you know quite a lot of rust it actually comes up really beautifully because we still keep because we clean it by hand um we still keep that texture of the rust would stay there if it's really rusty and i have to say they make some of my favorite ones if they're like really quite far gone so that's how a horse you can start um when we've heated it and cleaned it they actually go um what's called um blue that's yes. the term it's referred to um so this is after heating and cleaning so you can see that there's no rust on it um the nail holes and oh there we are the nail holes are all cleaned out there um so that's what you're left with after it's been cleaned but obviously to get it to this <laughs> yeah um requires a lot of brushing and polishing um and then you can see the little personalization on that one that's still cool. arise because we love mayor angelusa yeah <laughs> that's a good quote um so yeah so it goes through a number of processes just the you know cleaning and then perhaps the forging so this is um a blue heart as well so this is after forging so um, you the polishing and everything when you, when it's completed that sort of stage yeah so when it reaches this stage and it's nice and cooled down we would um personalize it at this stage 
So that's why if you're ordering something that is personalized, it has to be kind of done from scratch because it's at this point that yeah. it has whatever text you want put on it. Um, and the personalization is all hand stamped. Wow. Um, Barry does that. He's very good at that. <laughs> So. You get wiggly lines if I did that. Yeah, so he does that, and uh, and then once we've cleaned them all up and personalised them, they have a sealant on. We actually use two different sealants, so uh, we make door knockers and things, um, and so something like that that would be outside. We actually use a different sealant, which is a lot more involved. It requires different layers and a couple of different products. Whereas um, these ones for you to sort of display indoors, um, that are more non-rusty and looking in yeah. good nick. It doesn't kind of yeah. actually alter it in any way. It's just a preservative, isn't it? No, it's completely clear. So it doesn't change the color at all, and you can still see marks in it. It's difficult to. Um, this camera's not so great for details. No, oh, now yeah. that I know what that is. Yeah, so this one, this is um, as I was saying about things being worn. Uh, you can see the fullerene. Oh, the fullerene would have continued all across here, but it's been worn away. Horse was heavy on its toe there. Uh, but this is one that has been to the lovely Alison at Tail End Jewelry. Um, I know that Alison's had quite spectacular lead up to the festive season and so she has closed her order books already but if you would like any horseshoe braided items um Alison has kindly agreed that you can still order through us until we close her order books too so um, if you'd like anything braided we can still do that for you Alison's been very kind with them Actually, what I love about it, obviously the braiding is beautiful, like it's beautiful, but I love the fact that you've kept the worn toe in because if that's someone's shoe which it clearly is it makes it really special, doesn't it? Because you will like remember that thing. Yeah, completely. You um, I mean, it's interesting when shoes arrive. I mean, sometimes they arrive and they're not that one at all, which is sad, especially if the horse is um passed. Um, but sometimes they arrive and you have got yeah, like this, the area of wear at the toe. Um, some horses may be very heavy on the outside or the inside, perhaps because they had some problems or perhaps just confirmational and stuff. Um, so you can kind of tell quite a lot about the horse from the shoe, which is really fascinating. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. So you've got, because um, it wouldn't have been possible to run the braid the full way round because the fullering isn't there, then you've got the two braids um, in the fullering each side. Ooh. So yeah, if someone absolutely. wants to have that done to one of their shoes, is the order process the same? Because obviously I know that you do bespoke where people send you their shoes, but with that, obviously you've got a tail or, well, it would be, be tail hair, it's not mane hair. Mane hair is not usually long enough. No, um, mane hair is a lot thinner and not as strong. Okay. Um, so it can be difficult to braid with, so tail is always the best. Um, for ordering a braided item, even for an item like this, you would need a length of tail hair um, about 40 centimetres long because tail hair tapers. Ideally, you want a pencil thickness, but you see if you cut a pencil thickness from the from the top of the tail, if you like, where the dock is, because it tapers, that's going to get thinner. So you do need that length so we have a uniform amount of braid. I, I hadn't thought of that, you know. So a good tip if you want to take from your horse's tail um, and for it not to be obvious is if you actually take from underneath. So underneath the horse's tail where it's hairless, where the dock runs down, if you take sort of from the bottom of the dock there, um, you can snip a little bit out like that and nobody would see. So don't take it from the outside at the top, if you see what I mean. If you take it from the underside, nobody would even know you've done it. So, um, yeah. Um, lots of your antlers. Um, someone says you're doing better than I did yesterday with the camera. Um, <laughs> so I don't like things. I go and look. Uh, Mo is is watching from on board Kitty. Wendy says, oh, and Claire says the transformation of the old shoes is incredible. It really, really is. Thank you. So yeah, so um, 
Sarah, I mean, do you know what? Just to squeeze in with this, I think it can be so stressful for everybody if your pony or horse has passed away and you want to have something made. So even if you don't order, take a little bit from your pony's tail and just, you know, keep it somewhere while everything is happy and everything is lovely or keep those shoes by because it suddenly takes on a whole new meaning if you've lost a horse and it can be quite stressful I think we've had people um like bring things to us and not send them because they felt difficult to you know let that precious thing go into the postal system and things like that so yeah it's always worth grabbing some shoes and grab some hair while it's everything's fine I have to say, I was thinking about this when I've been speaking to you before, because um, the cop, Marilyn, doesn't have shoes. She used to, like, years and years ago, but I don't have her last set of shoes. Oh, she's alive still, touch wood. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> her last set of shoes, um, which I'm actually really quite gutted about now. I don't know whether I gave them to someone else to look after, but, you know, when you kind of think, oh, because actually when she stopped wearing shoes, people like you who do what you did didn't exist. It would just be something like you just kept in the corner of the garage. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and we we have had that people who have had shoes sitting in bags for years and they send them to us because they've just been sat there in the garage in a bag, yeah. So, but if, but if someone like me who had a horse that was shod but isn't shod, and I said to you, actually, she's a, oh, how tall is she? she well, she's about 15, 1, 15, 2, middleweight cob. Because of Barry's experience and your experience, yeah. you would find some shoes that would actually be something that she would wear yeah definitely you can't I mean sometimes you can get a big old horse that has very little feet um <laughs> but so there's always an anomaly but yeah for the most part if you um you know we wouldn't send you out something like this for example because it's quite small um but yeah if you gave us the details and said about the size the build of the horse and everything we could sort of estimate what sort of size shoe it would have worn and then braid if you wanted it braided or just personalize and clean and it would at least be an appropriately sized shoe no, to the horse that it would have been I think that's a really so, um uh, Mo says Faye I love your drawings are you still doing them <laughs> thank you Mo actually do you know what just before I came on here I thought do you know I'm going to sneak the artwork in as well so um because I was an artist um and because and this year has been a bit mad, so I'm a bit delayed on this, but we are hoping to incorporate more of my artwork into some different homewares and things like that for the um, under the Horseshoe Hearts brand. But for now, I do also do um, pen and ink so, commission. So uh, this is sort of born out of my love of um, pony books because um, I was just, I'm still mad. I was going to say I was. I still am mad on vintage pony books. Um, and so any books, I love combing through charity shops and, you know, secondhand bookstores and things. And if any books are a bit damaged, um, missing pages, the binding has gone, I can use them for these. So this is um, this is original. So this is the only one in the world like this. It is listed for sale on the website. There's a little tab called artwork, which some of my work is on there. Um, and it's the only one in the world. Original. Whoop, there we go. Mm -mm. And it's drawn in pen and ink on a vintage book page. So, so <clears throat> I can do those. And I do those just because. But um, I can also do them of your horse, your dog cat if you like <laughs> i've i've painted rabbits before and things like that people's rabbits and stuff um anybody wants a portrait of the chickens i'd love to show chickens <laughs> um, you're so kind when you said that you were an artist i wanted to shout at you no you are you are amazing that's such mm -hmm. a work. thank you so yes there's these um oh, let me just give you an example of so there's a dog. Can you see that's a border collie? Can you see that? I can see yeah. it. Yeah, so I could do dogs, horses, um, and it's from a uh, reference photo. So you would go to the artwork section on the website. There is original, so that horse and the dog, among others, are for sale under the originals on there. But you would find the commissions tab, um, and you can choose what size you would like. So both the 
this is sort of standard paper book size page in a mount Ooh, they are small they're lovely um medium that's very cool mm -hmm. there we are and um, i've got one large <laughs> There's the oh, oh where am I? There we are. There we go. Wow. That's a little um deer or hind there. Um so but I also have um prints for sale. Now these are from some works, the original um works have been sold. Um but I've got prints of and they're quite bright and quite different. Ooh. Um, oh wow. That is cool. So this is from an original um, canvas. I called them the Rainbow Horses. Um, this one is, he is, oh, hang on. Yeah, no, he is Courage. That's what I decided to call So this is a print of the original that has sold. So there's A4 prints of those available on the website. There's him and this one's not in its mount yet. But this is the other one. This is Grace. That is really cool. We've had lots yeah. of lovely comments in, I should say um we've had i hate saying someone let me just have a quick look at who that was um okay i can't see because <laughs> that hates me but someone said i regret not saving shoes and hair from my mare um oh that's amazing faye moses is gorgeous Mo also asks if the prices are on the website which i assume they are yeah do you know you asked somebody else prices didn't you and i thought oh my life i've no idea um, i'm gonna put you on the spot because i know that actually with a lot of the with the horseshoes you do as well i'm hoping we're going to have a look at a few more of those but because yeah. of the hand stamping and the whether it's your whether it's the customer's shoes or your own shoes or whether it's hand stamped or not the price varies quite a bit doesn't it do you know it does vary so like for your um the quilt shoe the like the still i rise um before um they start at 19 um but the personalization is 40 p per character um and there is a small charge if we're using your own shoes that seems a bit of a funny one um what that is is to cover sort of when we weren't doing so much with other people's shoes we didn't charge it but now because such a high percentage of what we do is with people's shoes when the shoes are sent to us we open them. We obviously look at whose shoes they are, have a look at what they wanted, make sure that we think that will fit because obviously sometimes the personalization needs a flat bit of the shoe to go on. Um, we couldn't put an essay on a teeny tiny pony shoe, for example. Um, yeah. And we take photos of them as a record um, and they are bagged up individually with what they are, whose they are before they go to a workshop and just that can get the volume that we have now of other people's shoes that can get quite time consuming in itself so there is a small charge on the website um you have the item image there are drop down options so would you like to use our stock shoes or would you like to supply your own um you can select we either hang from the jute plat there or we hang from ooh, white ribbon Cool. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. We use those as the two options. Um, so you can choose between that as well. Um, and then there is an option for if you want to personalize it. Um, you can say yes. And then there's text boxes for what personalization you would like to put on there. Um, there's a delivery tab underneath the item images on the website, which has address details on where to send your shoes to. Um, if they're yeah. super precious shoes, we do recommend Attract and Assign Service. So Royal Mail offer Attract and Assign Service. Also, they offer special delivery. Don't just go with Sign For if they're precious to you because Sign For doesn't count for much, to be honest with you. So, yeah. That's good to know. Um, so, um, yeah. So says, love your project. We'll definitely be going, to, going for commissions next year of all of my oh, gorgeous and uh, someone else says they love them, especially the bright ones. Have you got something else to oh, show us to finish up with? Um, so I've got, oh, well, let's go with, so let's go show with, right, it. running down, running down. Your order comes in a little jute bag. Oh, that's cute. Um, there we are. So it's got a little brand on it. It's got some horseshoe hearts ribbon on there. So each of your orders come in those. 
Um, oh, it's trying to update my software. Sorry. Oh God. Um, that's like a, that's, oh wow. So oh, this is awkward. Uh, 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 uh. Anyhow. Wow. So we also do like larger items. We have made one of these. Um, we call it a horseshoe sun wreath. I'm crazy, crazy about um, like a bit folklore and myth and Celtic things too. So I love the symbolism that, you know, with this horseshoe sun. So this takes 12 horseshoes. So it's quite I was weighty. I could count them, but I couldn't yeah. put my finger on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, this takes 12, um, so it's really quite heavy and they are massively time consuming to do. So these are 125 on the website. Um, we've had these literally, the, you know, if you've got a door that will stand up to it because they are heavy, um, as reeds or as even they've gone into like a modern industrial sort of, you know, wall art and things like that. So various places we've sent these. They we've also made from people's own shoes. Something that collected collected up a lot of shoes. Um and they were more a natural balance type of shoe, which worked really well. And she had um all her family's names put on the heels oh of it God. from her own shoes. So, you know, that's a keepsake that will just I mean it could just be passed down for generations. It's amazing. So that's our horseshoe sun wreath there. That's gorgeous. Um, Lovely. These are a personal favour as well because I'm a bit of a bookworm. Um, so these are our bookends. They're lovely. They're so, quite new as well, aren't they? Yeah, so these are, ooh, you get a pair. So these are a client's shoe. So you've got the front pair together here and the hind pair together there. And um, they're bolted to um, oak. They're lovely. There. So these are sort of, these are smaller size. They're perfect for paperbacks and things like that. Um, and we do ooh, functional items like horseshoe hooks too. So cool. So like, you know, your coats and things like that, they're not falling off that hook at all. If you've got loads of coats in your boot room and things, or your head collars, tack and stuff. Oh, so yeah, we do practical as well as decorative. Um, and this is just a heart from a bar shoe, just thought I'd show you that. Oh, that's um, because, cool. So this was a heart bar. So if your horse has got any remedial shoes on, we can still do things with that and work with that too. So. Can you tell us all the places where people can find you online? Yeah, so our website is www.horseshoehearts.co.uk and you can email us at hello at horseshoehearts.co.uk. We are on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash horseshoe hearts and gifts and we are on Instagram under horseshoe hearts as well and I think we might be on Pinterest under horseshoe hearts but I need to work on that one. <laughs> um, and you can contact us through any of those Um we are often sort of forging or like running around like headless chickens during the day. So phone calls, if you leave a voicemail, we will get back to you, but that can be iffy during the day. Um, but yeah, otherwise email, DM on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, anything like that. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.